Hi, my name is Scott Newman and we're Bright Incorporated and what I'm here to show you today is a blackout curtain that's generally used for uh, research facility, uh, eye examinations, um, uh, photographic rooms, uh, anything that's used that you need pitch black, total darkness. So what I'm going to do here is I want to divide this section from this section, which is pretty common. And, you know, you could do it a couple of different ways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show it with two curtains bypassing each other, almost creating uh, a doorway so that way you could walk, you know, walk between it or pull it back to both sides. Now, of course, the other way you could do it is have one big curtain and have it stacked on one side or the other with Velcro down the sides, but this is the way I've opted to do it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install wood across the ceiling. The reason I'm going to do that is because it gives me a nice solid surface in which to install the track, but it also gives me something to hang the valance off of because you want the valance there to block any light that might be coming over the top of the track between the track and the carriers. So if you want total blackness, we're going to put valance on both sides and we're going to uh, cut this area off and the first thing I'm going to do is install wood. Now, like most situations, you probably have an acoustical ceiling or a drop ceiling like I have here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to install the wood across the ceiling, and then I'm going to need to put something above the ceiling tile to rest between the grid to uh, distribute the weight evenly across the ceiling. Um, if you have cor corners or curves, it's a very, very simple thing to do. Uh, same process, but the first thing I'm going to do is install the wood across the ceiling, then I'm going to move the ceiling tiles, and then I'm going to put a piece of wood above it and, uh, and wrap it up. And then I'm going to put the track up, I'm going to hang the curtain, and then we'll put the balance on, and we'll have a nice finished product. So let's go ahead and put the piece of wood up, and let's get started. So what I'm using here is some standard uh, 1x6 pine boards. You can use just about anything. Um, I like the width of it because I'm going to be putting two tracks next to each other so that it doesn't push out the balance. This will give me the spacing that I need. If you're only doing one, you could do a 1x4 or, you know, smaller if you wanted to. You really just need this some place to put the valance and you want a nice secure surface. Um, some people put it directly on the track. I don't like that. It tends to fall off after a while because the, uh, the adhesive from the valance uh, um, Velcro tape doesn't stick very well. So let's go ahead. I'm going to be using uh, number eight by inch and a half hex sheet, metal, hex sheet metal screws right up into the grid and then we'll go ahead and put the piece of wood above it and we'll show you how that all comes together. We'll do this every day. Okay. okay, so what I've done is I put the rest of the wood up. This piece of wood right here is actually going to go above this ceiling tile. And what's going to happen is this screw, when I screw this piece of wood, it's going to go up through the wood, through the ceiling tile, into this, and basically sandwich in between the ceiling tile. Now you'll notice that I cut the wood so that it sits on these ledges right here. And what that's going to do is it's going to distribute the weight across the ceiling tile. Because this ceiling grid is being held up to the deck above, and that's where the weight is going to get distrib distributed to. If we went ahead and cut little blocks and sit them on top of the tile and screwed through, what would happen is eventually the tile would start to sag and your ceiling wouldn't, the, the project wouldn't be as sturdy as it's supposed to be. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we do it the right way. No matter what the size is, you want to go from the edge of the lip to this, to the edge of the lip, lip to this, and distribute the weight evenly, put screws across the way, and it'll be a nice secure installation. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have our wood installed, we've got the wood above the drop ceiling. The next thing we need to do is install our track. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm going to put two curtains up. So I'm going to, instead of putting a curtain down the center it, I'm going to off-center them so that they'll bypass each other. I'm going to go ahead and get the track installed and show you how to do that. So what we have here is our standard aluminum track, which we're going to hang. Carriers are going to go down the center, but the first thing I want to show you is the end caps, because you need to put the end caps on as you're going along. The wall side gets an end cap that does not have a, a removable plug. 
<coughs> it goes right over it and sits. And when we go and install it, it's going to keep it nice and secure and finished. On the other end, we're going to put a removable cap, which comes with it. And this slides in with this hole at the bottom, like this. So when you need to replace the carriers, or if you need to cha change them out, you just pop this cap off and you're all set to go. So let's go ahead and put our track up now and uh, get our carriers installed and we'll be all set. You'll notice that the track doesn't have any holes in it. There's a line down the center of it, which is where you want to put the screws, but we're not going to put any holes in the track because we're not quite sure where you're going to do the installation, where you're going to need your holes. It's very simple. You can either pre-drill them with a drill bit, or you can use a hex tech screw and drill right through them, or a sheet metal screw right through them, right into the wood above. I'm using a hex tech screw right into the thing, right into the track, and right into the wood above it. You'll notice that I'm putting a screw um, every foot. It makes for a nice secure installation. Now, before I go ahead and put my cap on, I'm going to make it easy on myself. I'm going to go ahead and slide the carriers in first, then I'm going to put the end cap on and, uh, and then screw the end cap in. So let me go get the carriers and put those up and show you how that works. So the carriers that come with this track come standard with wheeled carriers. They're nylon wheeled carriers with a little bit of chain and a, and a hook. Um, we're going to go ahead and slide them into the groove that's there. Um, you'll notice that the track has a little slot for the carriers to slide down. If you prefer to get spool type carriers, we can offer those to you, but you'll have to ask for them up front. So we're going to go ahead, our curtain happens to have 12 grommets in it, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put in our 12 carriers. So we have our 12 carriers, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my end cap up, and I'm going to slide the end cap over the end, and I'm going to screw up through the track, up through the, tra up through the cap, right up into the wood above so it makes for a nice secure installation and it keeps the cap on. I'm going to go ahead and put the other track up and then we'll hang the curtain. Alright, so the track is all installed, we've got our carriers hung, we're going to go and hang the curtain. Now, rule of thumb, you want to put the seam on the inside, and you also want to start working towards the cap. So if you put your cap on the outside, you want to work towards the outside. If you put your cap here, you want to work towards the cap, just in case you put on too many carriers or not enough, you can add them on at the end. Alright, so we've got the curtains hung. The next thing I'm going to do is the valance. Um, if we could pan the camera down, I want to show you that what I did was I had the curtains made a little long. You never can tell wh whether the ceiling's perfectly level or whether the floor is perfectly level. Uh, my experience is that if you add about three quarters of an inch or half an inch onto the height of your curtains, let it rest on the floor, it's perfectly fine and it's probably the best way to go. Otherwise, you're going to be adjusting your track or adjusting the piece of wood to get it close to the floor and it's much easier just to make the curtain uh, half an inch or three quarters of an inch longer so that it drags on the floor and it blocks the light. We're going to go ahead now and we're going to put up the valance and finish this up. So, what I've done is I've got my 
um, adhesive strip, which is the other side of the Velcro. And one of the real good reasons for installing the wood is to have a place to put this Velcro strip. And Velcro strip moves perfectly on this one by with no overhang. And as long as you order it with it, it comes with the Velcro sewn into the val valance on one side, and the pre-adhesive strip comes with it on the other side. So we're going to go ahead and install this. Now the other thing that you might want to consider is having the Velcro strip also installed down the sides of the curtain where you would put the Velcro strip, the adhesive, down the wall and then it would be uh, total blackout. I'm going to go ahead and cut this little extra off in a second. I'm going to hang the other side in a second, but what I want to show you right now is how the balance looks and how it goes up on this boat coast track. Okay, there you have it. Uh, this is our blackout curtain. I've installed the valance on both sides. Um, this is our Apollo black fabric. Um, it has uh, no light coming through it. You'll see that the way it installs, there is no light coming through any of the panels on the top. It is a perfect product for any place that you need complete darkness. We can design it to fit any application, any height, any width. We will work with you on a design. If you take a picture and send it to us, we can work with you and show you the best way to design this and lay this out. Uh, my name is Scott Newman, and this is Bright Incorporated. Thank you.